Well, I just got back from our local our local Dunham Sporting Goods store. I had to pick up a few things, and most importantly, since we're only a few days away from bow season opener here in Michigan, I snagged my deer tags. And something I did a little different this year, actually, is I snagged a fall turkey tag, which I've never done. But we've been getting a lot of trail camera pictures of turkeys, and I remember seeing a lot of them last year, so I figured why not have the tag there? It'd be fun to, fun to notch a turkey tag with my bow in the fall. But with us being only a few days away from season, I figured it'd be kind of fun and get us all excited because I know I get excited when I see this footage of the biggest buck I've ever shot with my bow. And it actually was on a trip back here to Michigan a few years ago when I lived in Minnesota. So I'm not going to say much more. I hope you guys enjoy this video of the biggest deer I've shot with my bow to date in Michigan. Enjoy, guys. Well, it's November the 6th. We just got up in the tree a little while ago. We're on a chunk of land that my buddy and his family own. Hunted here a lot in high school and always saw some big deer. They've been seeing a couple bucks around here that are... One of them's a eight point that's apparently like a 130, and the other one's a 10 point that I guess is something special. So, haven't been out here at all yet. They haven't hunted it in quite a long time for bow season. So, we have standing beans behind us. They've been seeing a ton of deer in this bean field at night. So, we're set up pretty early. I got my buddy Giuseppe in the tree with me. So, pretty excited to be here in West Michigan again and hunting some of my stomping grounds. So, Hopefully we get a buck to come by and we'll see what happens. Stick with us. I had, him, I had him a little higher than I wanted, but yeah. Oh, I gotta hang my bow up and hang on to something or I'm gonna fall. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude. You smoke camera. Are you kidding me? real dude. Did you get it? Yes, I got it. Oh my dude, god. Dude, that's the big eight. That wasn't that, the ten, but that was dude. the eight. That, oh my god. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. That was a nice buck. He's really wide. As soon as yeah. I hit him, it took the air out of his lungs. Oh, he never saw me. I stood up when he was oh, blind. Dude, he had he no never idea. knew. No idea. I honestly... Oh, oh that happened so fast. My God, dude. The first Let's near go. we see at the place, man. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, my God. That's crazy. Bro. What time is it? 4.30? It's 4.30. It's an hour and a half before it even gets dark. Just double lunged my biggest buck ever with a bow. Dude, that is insane. I didn't even, I don't even know how far he was. He had to be like 20 at that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
well, I can't ask for much more in a hunt. And every time I think about this hunt and get to watch this footage back, it's just, it's just a treat. And it was very special to, to do that on a trip back home. And of, to a deer of that caliber, if you're another fellow Michigan hunter, you know that um, bucks like that are, are pretty special. So I was very excited about this deer. It's so fun to always reflect on it. And it's getting me excited because we're only a few days away from season. But I think one of the things that meant the most to me on this was that I was able to be back here in Michigan and my dad was here. I had other family here, um, but especially to celebrate when I shoot a deer, um, to celebrate that with my dad, who really was the person who introduced me to hunting and, um, you know, where I get my love and passion for the outdoors from. So getting to share that with him. Cool. <laughs> and to get it at like, what, 4.30? Yeah, 4.30. 4.30, coming 4:30. through. Was he after does? No, he was all alone. First year we saw, I just heard crunch, crunch, and I look up and said, big buck. Yeah. And I you know, and his neck and doesn't look like he's No, he doesn't um, smell like rut. that at all either, so I don't uh, think he was at all. But yeah, double lunged, and as soon as I shot him, you, it went, <clears throat> and it took the air right out of his lungs as soon as mm. I shot, so I knew mm. um, wow, 15 what yards. What a beauty. I hope he's gotten a lot of breeding in. Hope so too. Uh, 15 right, yards. And, uh, uh, 15 yards. Yep. He never saw me draw or anything, and I just waited, and he was kind of quarter two, and he was at 20, and he, I knew he didn't know I was there, so I waited, mm. and then he got to where I knew I could shoot. Eh. Yeah, I saw him stop, and that, and then the way he went down. Yeah, he dipped up. a little, uh, but, I mean, it was, he was so it was close. Of the he was so shot. close, I aimed yeah. at body, and then it, it hit both yeah. lungs, so. Yeah. See his reaction when he sees the deer, and uh, for us, just... Just be excited it's it's just um it's a it's a special one for sure so i really hope you guys enjoyed seeing the biggest deer to date i also wanted to throw this out there because i'm really hoping to break that this year we've got a lot of a lot of hunting from michigan that's going to be in here but we've also got a trip to ohio towards the beginning of rut that i'm really excited about as well so Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, leave a like. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate all the support, guys, and uh, hope you have a great opening day. That's only a few days away. I know I'm going to. Just being in a tree stand is enough in itself. So we'll see you on the next episode. Thanks again for watching.